Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengah handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Alright, example number 6. So here we have a figure shows a 0.3 kg object that attached to a horizontal root by two strings. Okay, and given that each string length of 0.5 meter. And then the object is whirled with speed 8.0 meter per second around the root axis. Calculate the tension in the string when the object is at the lowest point and highest point. Okay, so we want to find tension again. Okay, but this time we have two string. Kalau kita tengok ni, panjang string ni sama eh. 0.5, 0.5. Okay, and then kalau kita tengok pada sini. Okay, so this should be 0.3. Uh, so jarak dia sama. So sini pun 0.3. Okay, kalau kita tengok eh, length of the string sama, jarak dia betul-betul sama. So, we can consider that tension, okay, tension in string 1 is equal to tension in string 2. Okay, kita boleh tulis tension 1 equal to tension 2. Okay, kita boleh tulis sebagai T. Okay, sebab mereka sama kan? Alright. So, now let's start the first one. Okay, at the lowest part ataupun lowest point. Okay. So, before we start, we need to draw, okay, the free body diagram, okay, of the object. Let's say here, kita lukis kat sini terus. Kita mesti ada weight. Okay. And then we're going to have T, tension 2, ataupun T saja, and then tension 1. Okay. Kalau kita lukis pada part CX dan part CY, so, you're going to have T and this is also T. Okay, since tension 1 and tension 2 sama, tegangan yang sama walaupun dia tali yang berbeza tapi sebab panjang dia sama, dia menampung berat yang sama, jarak pun sama. Okay, so T1, T2 adalah sama value dia. Alright, so now this is the weight. But before that, we need to calculate first what is the angle. Okay, so what is the angle here? Okay, for example, kat sini lah, theta. Okay, kita boleh kira tak? Mestilah boleh. Kita ada uh, kat sini kalau awak tengok, this is the triangle. Okay, so kita ada triangle sini, 0 0.5, 0 0.3 meter. Okay, so now we want to find the angle here, theta. Okay, so look at here. So we have uh, the angle. Okay, so we want to find theta here. So, since this is 0 0.3 and we're going to use sine theta. Okay. So, sine theta is equal to 0 0.3 over 0 0.5. And theta inverse sine. So, you will have theta is equal to uh, 40, 41, eh? 41 or 40.97. Okay, so I will use 41 degree. Okay, so 41. So let's say here is 41. So means that 41 degree is here. Okay, so 41 degree. And this is also 41, right? So this is also 41 degree. Okay. So now, uh, based on this diagram, we also can find what is the radius of the circular path. Okay. Jadi bila kita cerita radius, radius of the circular path dekat mana? Uh, okay. Since dia pusing vertically, so sini adalah dia punya R. Okay. Kita boleh letaklah R. So can we find R? Yes, we can find R. So kalau sini 0 0.5 meter and this is 0 0.3 meter. So by using theorem Pythagoras, we can find R is equal to 0 0.4 meter. Okay, so R kita dah dapat 0 0.4 meter. So now we want to find what is the tension of the string when the object is at the lowest point. So at the lowest point here, so we need to draw the free body diagram. Okay, kita dah tulis dah. 
So kita dah lukis dah. Kita ada T1, T2 and W. Okay. So since T1 dengan T2 mempunyai nilai tension yang sama walaupun dia tali yang berbeza tapi tension dia sama because the length is the same length. So here is also the same length. Okay, and then the weight kat sini pun, uh, dia menampung berat yang sama. So, this is the free body diagram. So, we have T here and T here and W. Okay, so now I want to resolve first. Okay, so TY. So, we have TY. Okay, which is T cos 41. And this should be TX. Okay, which is T sin 41 degree. Okay. And for this side, so we're going to have Tx, T sine 41 and this is also Ty, okay. Uh, Ty itu sama jugalah, T cos 41, okay. So now let's write the equation. Since the direction of the centripetal force is upward, toward to the center, saya so lukis kecil saja. So kita nampak dekat sini Ty and Ty. Okay, same direction with the centripetal acceleration. Okay, so the direction of the centripetal acceleration is upward. So, means that the circular motion is in vertical plane. Okay, so let's write total force Fc in y component which is vertical plane equal to mac. So, since we have the speed 8.0 meter per second. So, in y component, we have three forces. Daripada tali yang pertama, T1y positive value because the direction of T1Y here is same direction with AC. So, saya consider the positive macam tu senang tengok. Okay. So, plus T2Y plus W. Negative W since W is downward. Okay. So, T1Y here we have T cos 41 for T1Y plus T2Y pun sama. T2 cos 41 tapi disebabkan T1 dengan T2 sama so saya hanya tulis T sahaja untuk memudahkan kita ok takut nanti kita tulis T1 uh, T1 cos 41 plus T2 cos 41 nanti awak ingat nilai T1 dengan T2 tu adalah nilai yang berbeza bukan eh ok uh, so saya rearrange W plus Mg So now T cos 41 plus T cos 41. Okay. So dekat sini kita dah boleh selesaikan lah. Uh, cos 41. Okay. Uh, so kita akan dapat T cos 41 plus T cos 41. You akan dapat 1.6 T. Uh, tambahkan kedua-dua T tu. Okay. So here uh, kita tulis dah balik. Ataupun kita terus saja masukkan nilai. M is 0.3 kg. V is given 8 squared. Okay, R, the radius of the circular path. Yang warna orange ni tadi. R, kita dah kira. Okay, which is R equal to 0.4 meter. Okay, R 0.4 meter plus M is 0.3, 9.81. Alright, therefore, the tension of the string when the object is at the lowest point should be equal to, awak selesaikan lah. Okay, so dia akan dapat 31.8 Newton. Okay, so remember uh, the tension of the string at the lowest point would be uh, maximum tension. Okay, this one should be maximum tension compared to the tension at the top of the point ataupun at the highest point. Okay, alright, so now let's try to calculate the tension of the string at the highest point. Okay, number 2. Okay, but before that, okay, let's draw the free body diagram. Okay. So, at the top, look at here. So, let's say this is the object. So, dia akan ada tali macam ni lah. T1 and T2. Okay. So, remember the angle. Uh, angle dia sama lah. Okay, kalau kita kira sendiri balik semula. So, sini kita akan dapat 41. Sebab dia sama kan? Dia bergerak sama. Okay, the angle here should be 41 also. Okay? So, let's draw the free body diagram. So, weight is downward. And at the same time, we're going to have T1X and T1Y. Okay? 
And how about the other one? So t to x. And here is t to y. Okay. And at this point, you can see here that all the forces t1y, t2y and w. Okay. You can see the direction of all the forces are in the same direction as the centripetal acceleration. Okay. Uh, so, centripetal acceleration is towards to the center. Macam tu lah. Okay. So, bila kita tulis equation total FCY is equal to MV squared over R. Okay. So, kita boleh tulis as T1Y plus T2Y plus W. Ah, plus W eh. Beza. Tadi minus W. Since direction of W opposite direction dengan AC. This time W kita adalah positif. Since direction of W same direction with AC. Boleh eh. Bezakan. Okay. MV squared over R. So now let's expand T1Y. So saya letak saja T. Okay. T cos 41 plus T cos 41 equal to MV squared over R minus. Okay. So minus MG. Okay. So this one should be 1.6 T and then you substitute M. Okay. Macam tadilah. Okay, masukkan semua R 0.4. Kita dah tahu tadi. Okay, bezanya kat sini adalah minus mg. Okay, kita tengok belakang ni tadi adalah plus mg. This one minus mg. Okay. So, at highest point, the tension of the string will be minimum. Okay. So, you kira T, you akan dapat 28.2 Newton. Okay. So, this is the answer at the lowest point and this is the answer at the highest point, okay, the tension is minimum. So, the tension of the string can be considered as minimum tension when the object is at the highest point of the circular path. Alright, finish example number 6. So, we will continue next example in the next video. See you. Assalamualaikum. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.